we're going to talk about balanced and unbalanced audio systems. Every professional sound system needs to use balanced inputs and outputs. Here is why. An unbalanced system uses a two-conductor cable. There is a center conductor which carries the signal and an outer shield which is grounded. This shield provides the return path or zero reference for the signal and also provides some protection against low frequency and radio interference. The noise protection provided by an unbalanced system is quite minimal. It is only marginally safe to run a distance up to 15 or 20 feet, especially with low-level signals such as a microphone or electric guitar. A balanced system, on the other hand, has two wires for the signal. The signal is sent 180 degrees out of phase between the two wires. It still uses a grounded shield to protect against low frequency and radio interference, but the shield wire in this case has nothing to do with the signal. Here's a drawing of how signal and noise is handled in each of these cases. An unbalanced system is very simple. It consists of a signal source with a single output referenced to ground. The signal comes from the output of the source through the center conductor of the wire to the input of the receiving amplifier. The foil or braid shield around the wire provides the return path for the signal and also protects the center conductor to some extent from electrical and radio interference. Although the source signal might start out clean, it picks up interference or noise along the wire. This is because the wire is acting as an antenna. By the time the signal reaches the amplifier, the noise has been added to it. The resulting output from the amplifier consists of the signal plus the noise. This noise might be so small that it can hardly be heard above the signal. It could also be so large that you can't hear the signal because the noise drowns it out. Often it's somewhere in between. A balanced system is a little more complicated. Instead of a single conductor plus a shield between the signal source and the amplifier, there are two conductors plus a shield. One conductor carries the main signal, while the other conductor carries the inverse of the same signal, 180 degrees out of phase. The two together are referred to as a differential signal. As this differential signal is passed through the wires, they pick up the same noise as the unbalanced signal does. By the time it reaches the amplifier, both the positive and negative signals have the same noise added to them. Keep in mind, however, that although the two signals are 180 degrees out of phase with each other, the noise is in phase. These wires are connected to a differential amplifier, which subtracts the out-of-phase signal from the in-phase signal. These signals are referred to as minus A and A, respectively. When they are processed by the amplifier, the output is equal to A minus minus A, which equals 2A. Because the noise on the two lines is in phase, it is subtracted from itself and thus cancels itself out. The equation for this is the amplifier output equals A plus noise minus minus A plus noise, which equals A plus noise plus A minus noise which equals 2A. This means that the signal has doubled and the noise has cancelled out to zero. For this reason, all sound systems need to be balanced. 